I think I saw you in a magazine once. If you've got a pen, I could sign your tits. I do that a lot. Just call me Quadzilla. Wow, your abs are like giant ravioli. Shit! Shit! Someone help me! What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today. When a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can. Because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. And he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone.
Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face. We got a shooter! Take cover! Shots fired! Shots fired! Man, you get what you... You give out, Mr. Lowry. Hey, it's done. I know. Good work. All right. Well, shit. Let me know about the next thing. Will do. Uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and you know, property. So we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. Now, there are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning.
Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. I think I saw you in a magazine once. If you've got a pen, I could sign your tits. I do that a lot. Urgh. Just call me Quadzilla. Wow, your abs are like giant ravioli. Shit! Shit! Someone help me! Psycho? Is he a fucking pimp?
two down. Damn, I ain't got much time left. Damn, I ain't got much time left. Lester better appreciate this shit. Done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. 